when ERS at Central Ohio hospitals near capacity, the ambulances, they're often now diverted to other hospitals for a short period of time. But this summer, the amount of time ambulances spent diverting patients reached over 250 hours just in a single month. nbc 4s Jonathan Jackson joins us now from the newsroom. Jonathan, you spoke with trauma experts here in Central Ohio. What does this mean now for incoming patients? Well, Jennifer and Brad, EMS services here in Columbus say they're still delivering the same amount of immediate care, but they tell me that these increased hours are stretching their staff thinner than ever before. Here in Central Ohio, Hospitals that near capacity will sometimes divert ambulances to other hospitals to keep them from being overrun. But when three or more ERs reach capacity, Columbus hospitals enact something called the Emergency Patient Transport Plan. So all EMS and hospitals have agreed to work together in that. Hospitals have pre-identified how many patients they'll take kind of in succession. President of the Central Ohio Trauma System, Sherry Kovac, says medics will coordinate with dispatchers to send patients in stable condition to different hospitals until overcrowding is reduced. And over the past few years, she says the emergency patient transport plan has only been activated less than 10 times a year. But since May 4th of this year, they've had to do it 26 times. Since May 4th, is, we've had 26 activations. Uh, we just came out of the plan this morning, so it's been very busy. And the amount of time the plan has been active exceeded 100 hours in both June and July and reached over 250 hours in August. However, Columbus Division of Fire says despite the strain this puts on paramedics, their local firefighters are prepared to assist if necessary. All our uh, fire engines have all the drugs, uh, heart monitors, and trained people so that the public is not going to see a slowdown in the delivery of EMS. But Kovac says it's an issue that could overwhelm EMS services if it's not addressed sooner rather than later. And the first step, she says, is getting vaccinated. We have a large volume of non-COVID patients that we didn't have back in December. So we have busier volume than normal and then add to that to COVID. So the biggest thing, the only way we're going to get out of this is vaccines. And I also asked Kovac what might be causing this influx of patients. Her thoughts is that people are less hesitant to seek emergency care in hospitals now compared to earlier in the pandemic.